It's week five of Friday Night Football on 13 WREX. I'm Josh Schumann, joined by my partner, Ethan Wiles. We start in the Big Northern with a purple clash, Ethan. That's right, Josh. The Rockford Lutheran Crusaders trying to shake things up in the conference standings up at Dixon in our Game of the Week. Friday Night Football's Game of the Week is brought to you in part by Feldco, Rockford's home renewal experts. The Dukes up to number three in the latest Associated Press State ranking. The Crusaders looking to show what they can do against them. Dixon opened the ball with, uh, opened the game with the ball and went with the run game to start. Landon Kanigi goes through one arm tackle, stiff arms one, breaks through another, and finally broke down a great tone setter for the Dukes. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Kanigi getting the carry again. He coasts his way 26 yards to the crib to put the Dukes on top. Nothing going for the Crusaders on their first drive, and I wonder who the Dukes will go to for their second. Second drive of the game. Trick question, it's Kanigi again, completely untouched, and something tells me he should be buying his O-line breakfast okay, tomorrow. 14-0 Dukes and the Dukes homecoming crowd letting the Satyrs hear it. The Lutheran is able to silence them just a bit under five minutes in the first quarter. Daniel Ballard on the play action. He connects with David Ballard. Satyrs make it a one-score game. Didn't matter though because the Dukes reversed that right away. Devon Wallace takes it in from the three-yard line and to end the half up 28-13. Dixon's defense comes up big with the Satyrs threatening the score. Eli Davidson snags the interception, nearly taking it all the way back. That set up their fifth touchdown of the half, and Dixon remains undefeated, winning 56-13. to 